Hi, everybody. I'm uh, Nick Fogelson. I'm an endometriosis surgeon in Portland, Oregon. And um, I wanted to talk about an issue that I see coming up on Facebook a lot. Actually, someone just contacted me recently um, about this. And it is the idea that Lupron is chemotherapy. People seem to be arguing about a lot this. <laughs> People seem to be arguing about this online a lot, uh, particularly in some advocacy groups. And I've even seen people having like heated arguments about it and people getting kicked out of groups for not having the right opinion and, and so forth. And it's odd because it's an area where people are very misconceived uh, as, as to something. Um, so is Lupron chemotherapy? The answer is no, it is not chemotherapy. Um, chemotherapy is a, is a word that is used by physicians and healthcare professionals. And as far as I'm concerned, the way that physicians and healthcare professionals use a medical word is what it is. If other people try to choose to use that word differently, then, then they're wrong because it's a medical term. Um, chemotherapy is a, a shortened term for cytotoxic chemotherapy. And what cytotoxic chemotherapy is, is a drug that is used to kill cells that are growing to, quickly and obviously that's used in cancer. So in, in cancer situations, um, uh, cells are growing abnormally, there's tissues that are growing faster than they should and that's ultimately what we call a neoplasm and an invasive neoplasm is a cancer. And what cytotoxic chemotherapy does is it slows down cell growth and there's a bunch of different mechanisms by which those work. There's a lot of different mechanisms that cause cells to grow and each different type of cytotoxic chemotherapy attacks a different mechanism of cell growth. And what those do is that in people that have cancer, um, they cause cells that are growing very fast to die and cells that are growing slower tend to die less. And that's why you can give chemotherapy to a person and their cancer will die preferentially over their normal tissue. Um, the problem is, is that it kills normal tissue also, and that's why chemotherapy has so many side effects. But for the most part, cytotoxic chemotherapy kills the cancer cells and not the person entirely. But a lot of the side effects of cytotoxic chemotherapy are actually not over cell death, but rather they cause tremendous nausea and other sort of related side effects that are not necessarily from cell death itself. Um, but ultimately, there's kind of this concept of you know, chemotherapy causes all these side effects, causes your hair to fall out, causes you to have diarrhea, causes like all kinds of these things that we associate with the person who's being treated for cancer. Um, and so people then say, well, Lupron is chemotherapy. And all I can say is it's not, like Lupron is not cytotoxic chemotherapy. Lupron is used in the treatment of cancer. Um, Lupron is used in the treatment predominantly of uh, prostate cancer because prostate cancer in men is an estrogen dependent cancer. And by dropping, by really dropping down estrogen and testosterone, you can have a reduction in the impact of prostate cancer. And prostate cancer is in fact quite responsive to that therapy as opposed to cytotoxic chemotherapy. Um, but we don't really call Lupron chemotherapy. It is an adjunctive treatment for a cancer that, that is a hormone modulator that can be used to treat prostate cancer. Um, in the same way, Lupron for endometriosis works by massively reducing estrogen. And because estrogen is, uh, because endometriosis is estrogen sensitive, a lot of people will have fewer symptoms of endometriosis on Lupron. Now, I'm not getting into saying that Lupron's a good drug. It's not. It has all kinds of terrible problems with it, which we can talk about a little bit. But this concept that Lupron is chemotherapy is a misconception of what chemotherapy is. Um, chemotherapy is cytotoxic chemotherapy and Lupron is not cytotoxic chemotherapy. So I think that people just don't like Lupron for good reasons. Lupron is a drug that causes osteoporosis. I mean, it, it causes bone, bone loss, which over time can become osteoporosis. It causes bone pain in some people. The symptoms of Lupron in, in some people seem to be very long lasting. In fact, they may last longer than the Lupron is supposed to last. So a Lupron dose of three months should last three months, but the reality is it may last six months or a year or even longer. And there seem to be some people that have adverse side effects from Lupron that go out for years or perhaps even for their lifetime. And that's what some people, you know, feel like they've been injured by Lupron over long periods of time. And for that reason, most of us who are really in the endometriosis business don't prescribe Lupron because it doesn't have any long-term impact on the endometriosis. It's only good while you're on it. 
and it may have caused long-term harm. This new drug, Orlissa, is also reducing estrogen levels by a slightly different mechanism than Lupron, but it's still not chemotherapy. Orlissa is also not cytotoxic chemotherapy. Um, they're both hormone modulators. They both work by interacting with the GnRH pituitary ovarian cascade. Um, Lupron uh, basically is a very strong GnRH signal that tells the pituitary to dump all of its FSH and LH. FSH and LH tell the ovaries to make estrogen and a few other things. And basically, it completely squeezes the pituitary of all of its FSH. And then once it's got that really strong signal telling it to release its FSH and LH, the pituitary is never able to create enough FSH to create an effective signal to the ovary. So basically, it just shuts down the pituitary production of FSH. Um, and that, in turn, really lowers estrogen levels. Or Alyssa um, works by blocking GnRH. So it is a competitive antagonist to GnRH. And GnRH is the signal from the hypothalamus, which is part of the brain, to the pituitary, which is a sort of another part of the brain. And while the brain is still trying to tell the pituitary to make FSH and LH, that signal gets blocked competitively by the Orlissa. The, if you had a GnRH receptor, the Orlissa kind of sits there in the receptor, and then the GnRH that's floating around bounces off. Whereas if this was the GnRH that it's going to stick into the receptor and tell the receptor to make FSH, now the Orlissa is like blocking it. And so when the GnRH tries to get in, it just bounces off and goes, I can't get in. And so the more Orlissa that is, you can change the dosing of Orlissa. So if you have less Orlissa, some of the GnRH may be able to bind. And when you have more, less of the GnRH can bind. So that's why it's sort of dose dependent. These drugs have all kinds of problems. I'm not defending them and saying that they're good. I, I, I basically never prescribe them. I haven't prescribed either one for, I've never prescribed Orlissa and I, have haven't prescribed Lupron for probably over a decade. They're not good drugs, but they're not chemotherapy. So if somebody's in a group saying that Orlis is not chemotherapy, Lupron's not chemotherapy, don't kick them out of the group. They're right. <laughs> they're not. Um, and anyway, people shouldn't be kick, being kicked out of groups for having an opinion about something. In any event, um, that's just what I had to say about that. I think that that the internet is fantastic. There's so much education out there and so much, so many people are learning so much about endometriosis and other disease states, but sometimes there's wrong information out there that just kind of gets propagated and, and, and not surprisingly people don't, um, you know, they don't necessarily do the primary research and, and don't always have the medical background to, to understand what's right or wrong. And if a adequate number of people get an idea that they feel very certain is correct, um, then that idea gets propagated and other ideas get suppressed. And sometimes incorrect ideas are getting propagated. Um, and the incorrect idea is that Lupron is chemotherapy. It's not. It's not a good drug, but it's not chemotherapy. Um, that's all I was going to say. Thanks for watching. See you later.